Hi all. Let's do some more truck driving. I just want to show you a few books that I think would be great for uh, studying for the CDL test. Uh, first one we've already talked about. That's the manual that you pick up at the BMV. Uh, if you don't live near a BMV, you can download it off the internet. Uh, this would be the main book that you study from. You know. uh, the only problem with these are it's not that big. And the information is compact. So there's not a lot of explanations as a... Uh, write the material inside the uh, book no. so that's why I thought I'd bring up a few other ones too but this would be the main one this would be the one that you study for the test uh, this is where all the answers are you just have to study this one here but Usually one book is not enough to learn a topic. You know, I always recommend at least three books for any topic. So uh, I like this one here. It's uh, Bumper to Bumper. I read somewhere that this is the main book that schools use, that truck driving schools use. I don't know if that's true. So it's called Bumper to Bumper. The Complete Guide to Tractor Trailer Operations. So I think the important thing there is if you know what school you're going to, try to find out what book they're going to be using. Are they just going to go with the manual from the state? Or are they using some other type of book? You know. Uh, I have a few other ones, but I like this one the most. It's uh, they explain things, you know. And, and, yeah, each book is a little different. They all have their strengths and weaknesses, you know. But if I was to pick one, this bumper to bumper would be the one. So if you can get it on Amazon cheap, so. just to give you an example of what's inside here first chapter they talk about the future in trucking you know. and then second chapter dashboard and gauges so that's a really nice chapter there's lots of pictures and they they explain the uh, gauges on the dashboard uh, chapter three transmission chapter four is air brakes five is electrical six is engines drive train steering tires and wheels so here just as an example it's uh, 13, almost 20 pages just on tires and wheels so uh, tractors vehicle management systems types of trailers uh, types of trailers it's only uh, 10 pages there's a section on refrigerated trailers that's if you're hauling food you know you, uh, you'll hear people talk about reefers r-e-e-f-e-r -E 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 that would be a refrigerated trailer uh, coupling and uncoupling putting the truck in motion driving techniques backing up uh, safe driving driving challenges There's like uh, 15 more chapters. Handling doubles and triples, auxiliary brakes, sliders, economy operating, vehicle inspection, the log book, cargo documentation, loading, securing, and unloading cargo, accidents and fires, hazardous material 
map reading, preventive maintenance, getting a job as a professional driver, the driver's life, continuing education. So each chapter is, you know, it's only about 10 pages. Some are a little longer, but most are only about 10 pages. So you can see it covers quite a few topics. Okay. Uh, next book I'd like to bring up is the CSA Handbook. That's just a small book. It's basically about the rules that you have to follow for truck driving. So CSA Handbook, a complete guide for CMV drivers. So what it does is it covers the CSA 2010. That's like a program that's new for truck driving yeah, by the Carrier Safety Administration. So here, this is kind of odd, you know. Some people think CSA stands for Carrier Safety Administration, but in the book itself, they say it stands for Compliance, Safety, and Accountability. And you'll see this written as CSA 2010. A few of the topics inside the book are safe driving, roadside inspections, basic vehicle maintenance, cargo violations. I found it on Amazon. I can see it's only a penny. But uh, I, I read one of the comments down here and the fellow says it's not the edition he wanted. So this book here, you can walk into any truck stop and they'll have it on the counter. So that's what I recommend. It's only like $9.99. It's by a company uh, called J.J. Keller, K-E-L-L-E-R. And they put out a lot of good books and videos. So if you ever bump into their stuff, grab it. We'll go into more detail with that in other videos. And then the same type of book is Cargo Securement. And that's the same type of deal you can get by J.J. Keller, you can get it at truck stops. Now, you might be thinking, well, why do I need a whole book for that, right? Just to hit on a few of the topics, you know, cargo securement handbook, you know, what are you going to be pulling? You know, what what type of material are you going to be hauling? You know, a normal box truck, you know, like this is, is what they call a box truck. It's just a normal trailer. You know, usually most drivers want a job where they don't have to touch the stuff, you know, inside the truck. They, they hop in the tractor and they drive away. That's called no touch. You know. uh, I've got one buddy that said uh, he did jump out and he helped the guys unload one time. And he found that they only saved about 10 minutes and he got all tired and sweaty. So it really didn't make any sense for him to do that again. You know. And then, you know, weight, you know, what's the weight of the trailer? If you're overweight, you're against the law and then you get a ticket. You know. Weight 
distribution and the cat scale you know if you go to a truck stop you weigh the truck on the cat scale they can move these tires around here and they can move the fifth wheel around that changes the way the weight is distributed on the uh, axles refrigeration trucks uh, if you're pulling some type of flatbed yeah, or or step deck you know there's straps chains tarps seals seals on these box trucks you know so there's all types of small little things that they bring up in these books you know. uh, intermodal you know first time i heard that phrase is what's that you know that's where you have a truck here and it's just like a big flatbed and they put a big container on, on top of it it's kind of like a, a railroad car they stick on top of a semi you know so that's supposed to be up and coming that's supposed to be what's uh starting to get really used a lot and you might end up hauling live animals you know, lumber hazmat stuff heavy haul that's where the big money is you start hauling big machines uh, i i read one comment the guy said he was making three hundred thousand a year doing heavy haul so. dunnage you know first time i heard that word it's like what's that you know well that's just like wood and things like that that you use to help tie down things on your flatbed step deck they talk about that in this book you know. and then just by watching videos on youtube i've seen that each state can be different you know going from one state to the next you know small little changes here and there you end up getting a ticket so those are things that your company should know about you know as you travel across the country but really you're still responsible if you don't get it right you're the one getting the ticket so that's why it's nice to know what's going on you know okay and i think there might be a couple other uh, small books like this but i don't remember right off hand uh there's also a trucker's map yeah that's one of these things this is a motor carriers map yeah it shows where the truck stops are and the way stations and what i found the first couple pages are really good they go into uh, detail about uh, like here the first two is about hazmat stuff yeah. Uh, incident prevention and and response you know what do you do if you happen to spill something or you, you get in a wreck and you've got ha hazardous material all over the freeway you know? here's here's a section on the inspection you know if you happen to get pulled over for an inspection what can you expect you know fuel tax i guess for each state i haven't read through that yet okay mexican and canadian regulations border security hotels area codes so it's just a stuff that you would need as a truck driver now there's two different kinds this is a regular paper map right well they also make a laminated version every page is laminated yeah. okay and those are a little bit more expensive i think they're like 20 30 bucks but then what the truck drivers do is they draw their route on them with the dry erase markers you can get the dry erase markers at walmart they're like a buck 
it looks like a magic marker but you can draw on like a whiteboard you know like at school instead of a blackboard they have a whiteboard you write on it with a dry erase marker and then you can wipe it off well the truck drivers use that now on the laminated maps you know. so that's motor carriers map and I think there might be a couple of companies like this is a Rand McNally one I think there's I think there's one by a, another company too I'm not sure on that though so uh, I got that one on sale because the year was over so I got it really cheap at a bookstore uh, uh, lots of YouTube videos right that's that's probably the main spot that we're all hanging around now you know but the material is kind of hit and miss that's why it's still nice to have these books because then you know you're not missing something uh, I like to get books at the library but the problem is most libraries don't have the books we need right so there's something that's called interlibrary loan and what you can do is you can actually order books through your local library and they'll ship them from other libraries to yours for free so here I'll show you how that's done like here's my local library I can log in now this is the number on the back of your library card and then they give you password now of course you'll have to set this up ahead of time I'm not sure if you could do it all on the phone or not you might have to go down there then log in and then you can search now every library's web page is going to look a little different so. so here we'll just do a search for CDL And you can see I've got uh, 86 items. Like very first one is a DVD. So if I wanted to check that out, let's see here. The, the, the only problem is they don't have a lot of comments with some of the stuff. So this is a, a class A CDL DVD. So if I wanted to order this, I could just click on here to place a hold. Is this where you want to pick it up? Yes. Then confirm the hold. That's going to get shipped from some other library to mine. And so all I have to do is drive down the road and, and pick it up. Uh, when I first started doing the inner library loan, probably back in the 80s, you used to have to go down there fill out a form and then if they were able to get it you had to pay shipping you know it was only like a dime or a quarter to, to pay shipping but uh, and uh, back then most of the time they couldn't even get the book you, you might order five books and w one might come you know. back then though it was like almost countrywide I, I might get books from Iowa now, these days it's like my local area you know, like northern Ohio all the libraries in northern Ohio are connected into this same system so I could get books from like 70 miles away so, for free so uh, here's one CDL exam secrets 
It's a book about tank vehicles, hazardous materials, doubles, triples, and so on. This is another one. I bought this one here. What I usually do is I'll order them from the library and uh, see if I like them. And then if I like them, I'll go ahead and buy them from, from uh, Amazon. So I bought this one here. And I, and I bought this one here. So there might be newer ones out both these books there you know there's some pretty big differences you know. that's why it's nice to see at least three different books you know. these are DVDs see here's a, a DVD on a pre-trip inspection test so if I wanted to order that say okay this is where it's coming from I can say okay place a hold this is where I, I want it shipped if I wanted to I could change that right that's the closest one and then go out and get it And it usually takes a few days or a week, you know. Sometimes it might take a little longer, but they're usually here in less than a week now. So. Up here, uh, like I still have a video cassette. Uh, what I did there, you know, it's almost impossible to find a cheap VCR now. Uh, if you check your local Goodwill, they might have them. Uh, it's rare at mine, but when they did show up, I, I think I bought three of them there, so, so I'd have them. So here's a video cassette on hazmat. Here's one on air brakes, doubles and triples. Tankers. I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and order this one here. Okay. So then, you know, you, you can come back here and see what you have on hold. And, you know, there's always books. Uh, if we go out uh, to Amazon, uh, I bought this one too from Amazon. Uh, you see it's going for a penny. That might be an older one. That's a real small book. It's probably like the size of this thing here. But the one I got was really thick. And uh, it reads like a lawyer book, you know, so all that legal stuff. It's really technical. Uh, I, I guess that's the one to have, but it's real hard to understand. I'll try to do some videos on it later. Here's the uh, map. You hear paperback one 14 spiral bound that I think would be the laminated yes yeah, here it's nice to have the current map because the roads are always being built you know? Here's one, a truck stop directory. 
what this one does is uh, it gives you details about what's at the truck stop. Each truck stop is a little different. You know. Is there a gym? Is there a place to walk? You know, things like that. Uh, as you're reading through these, skim through some of the comments too, because you can get some pretty good tips here. You know, th these are probably all tips from other truck drivers. So perfect for finding fuel and places to park on and off interstate highways. Here it says, if you drive a semi in the U.S. and need to park overnight, you need this book. So there's computer apps now for your phone. You can do all this on your phone. If you have one of those fancy phones, I know I've seen a few videos where the guys show the, uh, the apps for truck drivers. Uh, mainly like apps where uh, the uh, truck stops are and things like that. Here's bumper to bumper. Used ones for $18. Far more than a CDL prep. Since 88, this has been the go-to book on tractor-trailer operations. So this fella here says Bumper to Bumper is our institute's text of choice. Okay, and then lastly, something else that you should look for in these books is how to complete the logs. That seems to be a very important topic. Uh, these days, from what I hear, they're all computerized logs, but you should learn how to do it on paper too. What if the computer breaks? then you wouldn't know how to keep a log. So. so I just thought it would be a good thing to include that here since we're talking about paperwork here. So. Uh, understanding the hours you're allowed to work off and on, sleep time, downtime, all that stuff, it's really complicated. So. I think we'll go ahead and stop there. Uh, next time, uh, I think I'll grab a few more books that I have that I might as well show you. And then we'll start getting into more detail with the uh, manuals and books. Okay, see ya. Bye.